NVIDIA shows Force RTX 4090 at 2.8 GHz at 55C in Cyberpunk 2077. As part of the Force RTX 40 announcement, NVIDIA privately showed off the cards to the press and media. Journalists watched RTX 4090 running in Cyberpunk 2077 at the highest settings with impressive performance. The gist of the demo was to show the performance benefits of DLSS 3, but perhaps the more interesting details were the GPU's clock speed and temperature. As part of the test, the overlay in the upper corner tracked the game's performance, as well as the clock speed, CPU and GPU usage and temperature. The processor in the PC ran at about 4.8 GHz and reached 86 degrees Celsius. However, the system's Force RTX 4090 GPU remained relatively cool. Throughout the entire test, the highest temperature observed by journalists was only 55 degrees Celsius. This was during the non-DLSS part of the test, where the GPU load was highest. This is an impressively low temperature, considering the displayed clock speed of 2850 MHz, which is 1 GHz higher than any of the Ampage Force cards in boost mode. It's likely that NVIDIA increased the fan speed on the card's massive 3 slot cooler, or perhaps used a liquid cooled model of the card. At first glance, the NVIDIA DLSS 3 demo was impressive. When using DLSS 3, the average frame rate jumped from 59 frames per second in the Cyberpunk 2077 test to 170 frames per second. NVIDIA says DLSS 3 combined with Reflex technology results in no extra latency compared to a game without any technology, which is impressive in what is essentially a smart frame interpolation technique. Using its PCOT tool, NVIDIA offered data on the card's power consumption with DLSS enabled and disabled. Without DLSS, the RTX 4090 consumed about 461 watts. Enabling DLSS probably caused the game to be CPU constrained, and so GPU usage dropped, while power consumption also dropped to 384 watts.